My name's Kenny Dial, and welcome to Season 2 of the Scuba Diving Podcast. Mark, good morning. Thanks for coming on, man. Thank you. Thank you for having me. And you're the owner of XS Scuba. I am. I'm one of the uh, original founders of, of the company. Why'd you do that? <laughs> well, let's jump right in. All right, let's jump right in. So 20 years ago, I mean, that's what the sign says here. So myself, a gentleman named Dan Babcock, and a gentleman named Michael Piantoni, we were working for the Sherwood Group. Had a sort of a bug to do our own thing. So we set out on a little mission with a weight belt. We actually started with a pocket weight belt, and we started oh, Excess oh. Scuba. Hold on, so you started Excess Scuba originally with a weight belt. We did. We actually bought a company called Excess Baggage, hence the name. The reason for the zipper, because they were gear bags and weight belts. The primary focus of that though was the weight belt portion and we thought we can't just call ourselves excess baggage. It doesn't really feel like who we are. So we thought, well, what are we going to do with that? And we changed the name to excess scuba and that's where we launched. Three guys quit their jobs all within a few days of each other and thought, well, this better work because we are now committed. We're going to have to uh, explore some other options. So early in the game, we started to move into making gear bags, doing some boots and gloves, some masks and snorkels. You know, those areas that were kind of low hanging fruit, things that we knew we could do pretty quick. We had a lot of experience already designing those types of products. And then uh, that summer, we started up a relationship with Luxfer Aluminum Cylinders. Yeah, we've heard of them. Yep, yep, <laughs> yep. They were, they've were they been around for a long time, big brand globally, and they were looking for distribution arrangements. And so the timing was perfect. I mean, it was almost like a match made. How does the structure work? Because I've seen Highland, I've seen uh, Luxfer Cylinders, I've seen a lot of other kind of brands come in the same book. You know, one of the things that wasn't really in the original game plan was the acquisition of other brands that sort of happened more organically along the way. Early in the game, after we set up with Lux for Cylinders, you can't do cylinders without a valve. It's like a wheel, a car without tires. We acquired Thermo and 2007 was our biggest change. We struck a deal to acquire a company called Sea Pearls in Minnesota. So we were in the game of making lead weights now. You know, nothing goes better with shipping heavy stuff than more heavy stuff. So we were doing cylinders and now we're doing lead weight. So delivery we, guys love you. They yeah. See- they do. The UPS go, oh, guy knows man. us by name, and yeah, it's, yeah. it's a tough day every day around 4:30 <laughs> when they come pick up our pallets because there's a well, there's a lot of cylinders and a lot of lead on those pallets. I think your brand is unique. We're here at Dima. There's a lot of brands here, sure. a lot of uh, suppliers here, and we've heard of the big ones: Scoop Pro, Aqualung, Hewish, all those guys. You just named all the ones that aren't here. You know that's interesting, and you are, and um, we are. <laughs> it is interesting. So I'm glad you are, and you're here. You're out here talking to people. I don't think I've seen you stop talking to people since right. since you got here. So I think everybody knows you you are the face of your company but your company itself excess scuba i had a shop at one time yeah full of excess scuba that's how we met um, it th- it's how we met actually it was a great relationship i don't know if i would have been able to launch to the next phase had you not been there someone's um, got to take a chance on someone i get a chance to say on camera here thank you for that oh you're very welcome. you know what was it 12 years later that's or something, right here we are and here we are it led to the next things the excess scuba you know and all the other the sea pearls the highland and all that good right, stuff right. i see it in every store i see it in aquariums i right. see it in charter boats have stuff on yep, there yep yep but so, it was just talking to a group that does expeditions out of hawaii i almost feel like you can't run a dive operation without your stuff it's a little hard Um, One of the things that we clued in on a few years ago were aquariums and zoos. There are needs for equipment in these aquatic environments. Absolutely. And the people who are the diving safety officers in in charge of these programs, they don't really know where to go or what to buy. And so there are a few individuals that are on the board of those programs. Many of their divers are volunteers. Their budgets to run these programs are very limited. You know, we can't donate to all of them, but we can certainly help support them, being able to give them access to a wide variety of products. And so there's even things that we do now that are custom designed for the aquariums and the zoos. Yeah, how would you describe your brand? Because we, we talked about like the known big ones, but they don't have all the other stuff. And oh. there's the small lines. There's, We've yeah. heard of Innovative and sure. Marine Sports and all those guys, Trident. And they've got all the little knickknacks. But you've somehow managed to straddle both of those yeah, worlds. Yeah, we have a little bit. I think that comes from the fact that our staff, we dive. And we're out there on boats, we're out there at the beach, and we watch what people are doing. We, we look for things where they're having trouble, and we're trying to find solutions to the problems that we see out there. We love ideas, and so when we come up with a good idea, a good concept of something, we're trying to take those things and see if we can make them a reality. We don't do dry suits, we don't do spear guns, and we don't do dive computers. Why not? I, I say yet. Okay. Okay. I was about to say, there's I mean, not maybe much one left. day. Maybe one day. <laughs> no, not exactly. Right, for right now, There's a lot of bricks out there in the industry. Not bricks that are bad, but bricks that build a store. 
So some of the big brands, the historical lines, dive retailers have used, and we were kind of the mortar, you know? So for a brick and mortar store, we had something for everyone. So they could choose their bricks and then use us to fill in everything else. The trend we've really started to see in the last few years was that we were becoming the brick, and no longer just the mortar. So people were look, turning to us for things like regulators and BCs and technical with wings and back plates and harnesses and other products like that. And that's really become special to us because it's something that we had a passion to do, but it took them a few years to kind of get on board with the fact that they would trust us with that portion of their product line. You've been very, like you'll try things that I think some people are a little nervous to try, some contraptions. <laughs> yeah, we take a few risks here but and there. But occasionally something, like you throw paint at the wall and occasionally something sticks. Right, I've got yeah. a few of these doodahs still in my, sure. my garage. Okay, good, um, good. It's almost like as seen on TV things sometimes. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. I but feel that's, like I should be a pitch man. Yeah, yeah, right, We're gonna, we'll do a late night commercial that's right, in a little that's bit. That's right, infomercial. It, you'll try it. I think some of the, you know, the scuba pros and the atomics, they, they won't try something they're not sure about. And like, I can go into your book and find two or three new things every year. I'm like, ooh, yeah. Yeah. that's exactly the little, right where my hand goes well, and you got some little knob or. I'll tell you, the, the most recent example of something like that that we've done has been uh, what we call the quick launch. It's a SMB. And what we saw when we were diving with others underwater is it takes some time to pull out an SMB, find the spool, clip oh, yeah. the spool, make sure it, it, you know the spool is unraveling and falling down. <laughs> yeah, exactly, yeah, yeah. exactly. And so we <coughs> ended up designing an SMB with a little pocket Ooh, on, and have the, the spool, you know, right built into it. So the diver just simply takes the SMB, pulls Speaking the spool of out of the pocket, and that <laughs> we guy's got, got it right SMB. there. I know. We were and, talking uh, about it. You were just trying to show us one, right? Yeah, perfect. <laughs> and. Yeah. Uh, so that really was one of those things we, we thought we'd try and see how it goes. That paint stuck to the wall. It's one of our best selling products this year. We've had a challenge of keeping them in stock because we way under forecasted the popularity and the success of a simple product like that. What motivates you to try these experimental things? What we're really trying to do is, is think about what products are going to appeal to divers. You know, a lot of times, one of the things I hear from divers, especially over the last 10 years, has been, they come up to me and they're like, you know, I didn't even realize, I look at my dive gear when I'm getting dressed to go in the water, and I've got five or eight or 12 different things on my body that all say excess scuba. Yeah. But I never realized I was an excess scuba diver. People don't even realize it. Yeah. I've no, noticed it. No, sometimes they don't, actually. But you're kind of the man behind the curtain. <laughs> A little bit, I mean, but I'm out in front of the curtain now, so. You are, um, and, and you are, you're front and center here in Dima. This is one of the busiest booths here. I can attest that you do, in fact, um, dive. I've seen your, you know, Facebook friends and I've sure. seen your kids. You go diving with your kids. I do, yeah. And so that's, I mean, you can't really do this and keep inventing if you're not doing it. No, um, in, in fact, I was just talking with uh, my product manager. He's all, we've been diving together for well, close to 30 years now. And I told him, you know, we have got to get back to just remembering every year we go, we gotta go on dive trips and just have fun. My kids got old enough to realize that they think of me as Santa Claus now. I'll bet. Like, <laughs> you, you have a workshop and elves and you make, you make toys for the good adults and well, even boys and girls all over that want to go scuba diving. <laughs> they actually introduced their friends to me. Like, oh, yeah, my dad's a toy maker, you know? You gotta wear the elf hat underwater, I know, man. I we probably need a should. For that. I should get a beard like <laughs> yours, you know? Then, yeah. I, then I really fit the part. What opinion have you had when you started all this? You probably had a vision, you had an idea, you picture yourself doing it. Have you had an opinion that has done a 180 from when you started to now? When I was a young kid, this is all pre-internet, and right. you know, before I could drive, I was scuba diving. I was kind of a dive nerd. You know, I went to dive shops and just hung out all day and listened to the guys behind the counter sell products. You know, I would study everything in the store. I would subscribe to all the magazines I could find. You know, because there was no web to go on and do any research. You had to find the books. You know, what I realized early on in the game was how important the retailer was to the whole game of scuba. I mean, that's where all the students come from. That's where all the new customers come from, is from those stores. And so we always just kind of figured, look, if we can make a, a good product, maybe a great product, at a fair <laughs> price, and back that up with excellent customer service, we're gonna be okay. This Simple is gonna work. formula. When people ask me like, you know, questions like, well, what's the secret to your success? And how'd you guys do it? How'd you guys get here 20 years later with all this stuff? It's not that complicated, honestly. We have tried really hard not to tell dealers how it's gonna be, but ask them, how do you want it to be? 
and then respond to that. And I can't please everybody all the time. That's just it's an old Abraham Lincoln quote. I really work with our staff to try to be as accommodating as we can to meet the needs of the stores. I mean, they're trying their best to do what they're doing with the customers every day. Okay. And it's not easy. Dive store retail is a challenging environment. It is. And it is. They, they, they put a lot of line on the line every day. And it's nice for them to know they've got a brand that will go out of their way to, to help them, you know, hopefully they see it that way, at least most of the time. I've seen it firsthand, that's why we're standing here. Uh, last question for you. Yeah. What is your favorite, like, product that you came up with that only you sell? Like, what's the one that you really oh, just man. sort that's of love? Oh, man, a really hard one. You can Gosh. only pick one. I can only pick one. Gosh, now, I, now you're making me really start to think about it a lot. You know, I almost have to go with that, that quick launch. Maybe it's because it's fresh and we were talking about it. Maybe it's because it's, it's got a lot of recent success. I mean, it's one of those things that's so simple and yet it's just, it's a fun, I love seeing people be happy with that product that they really enjoy. I mean, not all the products are my idea, that's to be fair, okay. you know? But you so put, because you put I was them out part there. of the conversation you that green started light them. The, Which one? You green light them. I do green light them. Uh -huh. They do have to get my, I have to sign off on everything, that's true. But some of the ideas, you know, sometimes what we're seeing, Ken, is that we see a product that's a good product, but we see ways that it could be a better product. Yeah. And there's a lot of that in what we do in terms of our, of our overall products. You know, we did that with our tank holder system. We weren't the first one to come up with an idea of how to store cylinders on a boat or a truck or a, a trailer for some of the instructors. We looked at that and said, no, there's a, there's a better way. So that product has been very successful to us, even something like a tank boot. We looked at the boots that were going on steel tanks, you know, at the time when we started with Faber 18, 19 years ago, and we saw that they're not good boots. They trap water, they're not very stable, there's got to be a better way. So we designed Designed and tooled up a new tank boot. There's nothing sexy or cool about a tank boot. To be <laughs> oh, honest. come on. It's kind of a boring product. But I'm proud of what we do because it, it affects all the divers who buy those cylinders. That seems to be what fills your cup is uh, the new thing that takes. Yeah, it does. Because it, it's like everything else. It's, it's what we're talking about today. It's what's new. You know, when people come to a show like this, they generally want to know two things. Hey, what do you got that's new? What kind of deals you guys run in here at the show? You know, we're known for having good specials. One thing that always ends up happening once they get in the booth and start looking around is they realize, oh, I didn't even know you did this. Oh my gosh, these are I've so I've done nice. that exact thing walking yeah, over see? here. <laughs> see, exactly. People come in, the, and that's why we bring so much stuff. And I would be remiss if I didn't say it's a lot of work to prepare, to set up, and display all these things. But you feel like you're a delivery guy a little bit. I now. do a little bit. It's it's a ton <laughs> of work, and people say, you know what? Make it easier on yourself. I said, I know, it's only four days and you set it up. I feel like a circus when we do this, you know? And this is our chance to really show what we're about firsthand for people to touch the things, to talk to us, to see the things. We want to be able to give them that experience. It's a stage and, and you've done it's a well. It's of a stage, I suppose. Yeah. It is, you know, I'm sorry. I, I had this prompted one last question. That's okay. You. What does retirement look like for you? Just this last year, I became sole owner of, of Excess Scuba. Retirement might be a little farther off. I'm older probably than I look. One day we will figure that one out right now if you can go to work each day and actually enjoy what you're doing I mean I make scuba toys you know it doesn't have to be anytime soon awesome. I just need to keep enjoying it and I'm fortunate to be surrounded by a team of individuals that are great people to work with I mean I really am blessed in that way it's like a little family. I got hugged when I walked in, yeah, and it's see? been like seven years yeah. since I used to place orders with you guys. I, mean, so. I really have some very <laughs> friendly people in, on our team. They're able to show that even over the phone or by email when they're talking with the customers. I think for them, being a part of a, Yeah, it transcends. Hopefully that's contagious. It is. You know, retirement will, will come in time, you know? I mean, hey, look, I look at the odd idea, what would I do? This is what I do right now, so I'll just keep doing this for a little bit. Do and you want to buy a dive business, Ken? I sold one, but it was different. Okay. No, I'm actually in one right now, All right, so good. we're doing it. All right. And I think we're both enjoying it. All so. right. Good. Mark, always fun. Ken, thank you very much for your time. This is great. Good to chat with you. Thanks. Yeah, you too. Thanks for listening or watching if you're on one of the supported video platforms. If you want all things Sweetwater, like a signed copy of my children's book, merch like this shirt or the hat, online courses, or if you want to advertise for your dive facility, if you just want to follow us, go to sweetwaterscuba.com. You can follow my TikTok at Kenny underscore dial, K-E-N-N-Y underscore D-Y-A-L. Our Instagram account, sweetwater underscore scuba. Of course, the Down to 60 channels on all major platforms and everything else we're doing to lift the underwater world. Thanks for being here and let's show the rest of the world the rest of the world.